I'm Hanala, and I got sober on December 28th, 1982 in Los Angeles, California. And the best part of getting sober in Hollywood is I never knew who I was going to see at a meeting. And while it's an anonymous program, there are certain people who've come out with their alcoholism and they wanted to share the message to let other people like you know that it's possible to give up booze and still have a great life. So one meeting I walked into when I was newly sober, it was a lovely, sweet meeting. They called the Mary Hartman, Mary Hartman meeting in Santa Monica, California. And who should be sitting there but one of the people I watched when I was a child in Montreal. And it was a member of a very famous group called the Monkees. And his name was Peter. And he talked about meetings, so I, I feel I can talk about it too. And uh, Peter was one of the people that you really look forward to hearing share because he was always funny and insightful and profound. And we hit it off, we became really good friends. And I'd look forward to seeing him every Friday. So one meeting, I was driving over uh, and almost there, and I had the radio on and I'd heard that George Harrison, the Beatle, died. And I just, I couldn't go into the meeting. I was just blubbering. I, mean, I grew up loving the Beatles and the Monkees, but mostly the Beatles. And so it took a while before I could get into the meeting. And when I walked in, it was obvious there was something wrong and Peter saw me from across the room and gave me one of the and I went and he went and so he got up even though the meeting had already started he got up and we went outside and he just held me as I cried they'd actually known each other and then it occurred to me oh my god I'm crying about a dead beetle in the arms of a monkey. And then of course, you know, I told him we laughed, it's adorable. And today I found out that Peter Tork, actually Torkelson, died at 77. And here's the thing about being sober. Of course it's great and the alternative sucks, you know, being uh, drunk or dead. But when you're sober a long time, you find out the people you really cared about when they when they are no longer in the meetings it's sad it's just heartbreaking and peter was one of those kind of break your heart kind of guys and uh, so i just wanted to share cuz that's what we do uh, they say you're as sick as your secrets and it's not good to keep stuff bottled up so I think that one of the reasons that alcoholics drink and that drug addicts use, I mean, other than big companies get them hooked, is a lack of connection. We suffer when we don't connect. And I'm a recovering <laughs> agoraphobic, which means I didn't like going out. You know, people out had bees. I didn't, I, I wanted to stay in where I could control everything with my remote control. And that kind of controlled living, living wasn't much of a living. So I talk to myself in very loving terms these days, which helps me get out the front door. And I don't grieve too much about Peter and my friend Al and all the others who've gone over. And, and that rainbow, rainbow bridge from the 80s when I lost so many beautiful young men. I just realized that every moment is precious and we have to enjoy it. So goodbye, Peter, you lovely, beautiful musician and warm spirit and gift to the planet. We love you, you monkey.